that's the, the, the pinnacle right? yeah. of mm -hmm. this park. Good word. Adventure begins. We've parked. Are you guys looking forward to the dark walk back? <laughs> Straight <laughs> down the rock. Hashtag it's dark in the park. <laughs> Welcome back to Arches. We are headed out to get some school and some work done this afternoon. The service here is pretty spotty and about half the girls' curriculum is online. So yeah. we need to go find a place where we can stream some school. You get some service, but it's spotty and it's it's just frustrating. So yeah. we've just been going, when we get into situations like this, we go and find a spot to sit for a little exactly. bit. Exactly, you can go find- I get some work done and the girls get some school done. Right, you can find cafes, you can find parks that just have better service somewhere else. So we're gonna head out of here and get some stuff done for a few hours and then this afternoon we're gonna head back into Arches National Park and check out Delicate Arch at sunset which is high on the list. Delicate Arch is our finale that's what I've been looking forward to that's what we've been planning around so we're gonna do sunset there I'm gonna do some astrophotography there I think that's the, the, the highlight pinnacle right? yeah of mm -hmm. this park. I'm really looking forward to that. We went in and did some the other day um, up to the Praet of Elephants. So mm -hmm. what was that, Double Arch? Yeah, by Balance Rock. We did a couple things already. But after that, we're gonna go to Canyonlands, but right now we're gonna go find some service. Uh, let's go. Okay, a slight detour. Uh, the traffic didn't look bad in Moab. So we are anticipating sunrise tomorrow in Canyonlands. Um, so we need some- feet. Turn left onto Uranium Avenue. <laughs> so we need some donuts from Uranium Avenue. I can't even say the word. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to turn. Yep, turn now. Uh, turn left onto Uranium Avenue. Okay. This is not normally what we would suggest, but the timing is working out. So we're actually doing sunset tonight and night photography and sunrise in the morning. It'll, it's gonna, whatever. <laughs> It'll be good. Yeah. Donuts. Oh, what do you think? I can't see them. They're beautiful. Here, do you see them now? Can we like eat one now? No. Check this out. It was cheaper to get a dozen than I six. What? No, yeah, they had my number. Not funny in any situation, but I'm Look at that. Hun. Yes, baby. Do you hear me? What? It's cheaper to get a dozen than six. Heck yeah, that means more donuts for me. <laughs> oh, you can test? That's, that's your theory now? Since we got more, you can test now? Yeah. All right, you can test. Which one should we test? There's the maple. There's the highlight. So this is what remote school looks like sometimes. We have to go find a place that has a table, usually if possible, and we bring our jackery for power, and most importantly, we have service here. This is Lions Park right outside of Moab, and it is right down the river from where we tried to get our first come first serve when we first got to Arches. Really actually love our spot on BLM land. So we ended up staying at Willow Creek uh, Trail Dispersed Camping, and it's super easy access, and then we can still come in and utilize places like this. All right, I gotta get the drone up. Look at this place. So I'm gonna dig my hands deep down in the dirt. Take a walk along the street if I'm feeling dessert. All of this convenience just doesn't work for me. I wanna play with fire. Let me get hurt.
this entrance to Arches is incredible. This is like a proper national park <laughs> yeah, entrance. entrance. Terrible lighting for this sign photo. It'll be fine. Dark. Light. Light. Dark. Light. Oh. <laughs> We've driven by like ten times, but this this is the time Listen, now. Listen, this I is the only I time we have left. Never said. Oh, yeah. oh cool. Well, I guess we have. Well, that's a good idea. I have. Or where do you have it? Which national? Should you throw your phone out or something? Right, we're losing our light we're going up that. So this is what's cool about this. Is it goes like that all the way up. So, How incredible is that drive? We've done it a few times and it's just, it blows me away every single time. Yeah, it's and it looks different in all different lights. So awesome. beautiful. Just seeing all those towers, I mean, Park Avenue, Courthouse, just looking straight up at them, it's amazing. Um, and we're going, we're actually going by Ballast Rock right now. So I actually cool. got a cool shot of that the other night. So we are heading off straight that direction I don't know how many miles it is um, the delicate arch that's the one we've been looking forward to vehicles and small SUVs over here so we just need to see if there's any parking looks like everyone's coming over there and I don't see any openings check this out yeah, we got a good spot. Oh, that's a sweet spot. This, we just did like three truck. circles, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> we flagged these guys coming down off the trail. We're like, you guys leaving? Sometimes that's all you can do. Yeah. It's a sweet looking rig. Yeah, it looks like he's had some fun in that. Thanks, guys. Adventure begins. We've parked. This is Wolf Ranch. These guys moved here in 1900, just before, and lived about 10 years on this 100 acre piece of property. It's pretty awesome. Can you imagine living up here all by yourself? So, this is the second cabin that they built. The first one did not have a wood floor. So this one apparently has a wood floor. Look at this view though. Yeah, probably the root cellar. Anyways, we're getting distracted by old cabins. We're going to get up this trail. Oh, you can see in it? Yep. Oh my gosh. It's official. I wasn't lying. There's a wood floor. There were six people that lived in this at yeah. one time. So the son and the new wife came back uh, in like 1903 after they'd lived there for a while. And she's like, uh-uh, I need a better house. So they, re they built this one. So we have about a mile and a half trip. And I guess it's kind of straight up. Yeah, there's an elevation. There's supposed so, to be a really cool spot where there's like a straight drop off on one side. We probably there. won't be filming too much. We'll be going. So we're going to pretend we're in shape and you'll see us not puffing and puffing. There's a couple uh, special skills involved in finding a parking space at a national park. <laughs> Patience yep. and persistence. Okay. 
And you'll find a spot. Never give up. Just keep circling. <laughs> like a vulture. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if you can see that point. All those little people oh, up there. Yeah. That's where we're going. What'd you say? It's about and 480 and feet yeah. of elevation gain? So in summary, there's three P's. Patience, persistence, and please. <laughs> to find parking. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey guys, hey guys. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no, I'm Jesse. Yeah. It's so nice to meet Good shot, babe. I like that a lot. It can't see us, but are you guys ready for the stars? Uh, yeah. Yes. Are you guys looking forward to the dark walk back? <laughs> it's gonna actually, be straight down the rock. Not the first time it's happened. You remember? <laughs> wait, when was that? When we that were in Maine and we so did long what ago. was that hike called? Tumble down. Tumble down. down. We, it was pitch black outside, and we were pitch like black right now. You can't even see us. Let's climb four hours up a mountain at sunset, and then climb four hours back down in the dark and get lost. Yeah, not a not a good move. <laughs> it's a great idea. One, two. <laughs> I don't know how good I look there. Again, when your spider. What I did. I don't have any idea what I did. It's spectacular. Seriously amazing. There's a person on top. Really? That's a long way down tonight unless they're camping. Maybe they're camping up there. On the top of this tree. Look at that, guys. Wow. Um, there's lots of rocks everywhere. We lost the blue marks for a second. We're back on track. Yeah, I got blue marks. We're not going to be lost on the mountain of Maine. <laughs> Maybe. Man, well, we just finished. We hiked almost an hour and a half, a little over, all the way down the mountain in the dark so that Corey could get the sweet sunset shots from the top. The girls were awesome. They did fantastic. So we're headed home. We have a got about two hours to head back and we'll see you guys later on our next adventure. Bye. Bye. All right, well, uh, <laughs> let's, let's check out this moment. Right? I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's All right, what'd you guys think of that? Oh, that's fun. So kind of cold. Huh? Layla came up in shorts. <laughs> so. I think I got a couple of shots, anyways. Yeah, we met some cool people. It's really fun to be out at night at some place yeah. where everyone's there for a, the same purpose. Yeah, it's so quiet and it's it's pretty magical. It's it pretty wasn't cool. very quiet because me and Layla were there. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, so we got a we got a dark trek home. Can yes. you hear all the mice? Yeah, you can hear Did them you see squeaking. Them? See you later, Arch. <laughs> Don't fall off there. Yeah, I'm gonna film you guys going around this dangerous <laughs> precipice. Okay. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Precipice? So Lila goes first. I'll walk straight down to certain depth. Stay close to the dodge. Can you hear him? Okay. Hear what? You can hear the squeaking mice. Oh, I thought that was us. No. No, this is pretty cool. Whoa. That's a, that's a cliff. Really far down a cliff. You can do night hikes more often. Yeah, no kidding. All by yourselves. Awesome. Hike up when you can see everything and get the views and then hike down in the dark. Especially in like grizzly bear territory and mountain lion territory. All right, I'm gonna focus on this, this walk. Yeah, that's good. Hashtag, it's dark in the park. <laughs> Arches at night. What do you think? It's good. It's dark I have, a, I have a flashlight. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Dark in the park. I can't see anything because your light's on. I know. <laughs> You're like blinding us. Arches uh, at night. In the park. Yeah. Do, do this. This is incredible. <laughs> Definitely the, fin the grand finale. All right, we survived. We did. We made it. We might have got turned around for about five seconds on the rock face. Now, we wouldn't have gotten turned around had other people coming up been in the wrong area and they, they were thought lost. they were on the trail. So I was like, they must know where they're going. No. no. Layla knew where we were going. We only Always went off like 100 feet. We're good. We're good. 
totally but I'm good. surprised because that's a wide open not trail no so like, there's not even you can't even see like divots in the rock it's pretty wide open but yeah look look at all this love right here love and right here our transportation our donut holder <laughs> donut. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, donut donuts donuts speaking of, we will see you guys tomorrow in the dark again at Mesa Arch in Canyonlands.